Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkian Wiersma and today I'm going to do a few updates on some new uh, blooms, first time bloomers, of at least the first time in blooming uh, here in my care. And well, it's and, and some a little update here. I'm going to start with this Venda, with this beautiful, beautiful pink flowers, absolutely gorgeous, fairly large, large. And I was watching it, and I was afraid of this to going to happen. But I hope you can see it. It snapped the flower spike. So I now have this leaning on the shelf here because it's so heavy. It's a really, it really is top heavy. So yeah, that happened just a few days back, but still the blooms are okay. So I think the spike is still up the Yeah, the spike is still working, but anyhow, and there in the back is another one. Uh, I think that one has a little less blooms than this one. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, I think so. But yeah, I cannot stake it. I have this knitting needle here, but I cannot put in a uh, wooden stick in there. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. It never happened before. This is actually the vanity that I did uh, get from Insta Orchid. So it's doing very well, but yeah, the flower spike snapped. So something to think about. Maybe I ha can have a solution like uh, in this with this one. So I have the knitting needle and I taped something on there that makes it a bit uh, larger. Uh, especially for the fan itself. And this one uh, is also blooming, but it hasn't had that big cluster of blooms like that one has. And that makes it very heavy. So yeah, anyhow, that's the first uh, little update. And then over here, you guys, this is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, I'm sorry for the yellow sticky thing here, but that's because I have the, my greenhouse door open. I need a few of those. Those do not look nice in the backdrop, but anyhow. This is the uh, African Beauty. First time bloomer for me. Uh, absolutely stunning. A very nice, deep, red pinkish color. So yeah, that one is very nice. Like I said, a first time bloomer. And this one uh, still has its blooms. This is a fairly new one. It's the uh, Cattleya. And here we go. I always pronounce it wrong, but it's, uh, for me it's the Forbesii. And I, I just heard, uh, I think a week, a week back, um, just one more orchid, Natasha, there is her name, <laughs> trying to pronounce it. It, it seems to be for best E, for best E, something like that. But anyhow, it's still blooming and nonetheless, it's beautiful. And I kept this one in bloom because uh, I'm not sure if I can film it, but it sees adapting beautifully. She even has the first roots already in, in the reservoir over here. And yeah, like I said, maybe I can lift her a little bit because I have my cable tie on the pot. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, here you see a beautiful root. And I hope, yeah, there it is. You see? So yeah, this one is doing so, so well that I uh, left the blooms on. So that's how I decide if I'm going to let it to bloom or not. Most of the times I, I let the blooms open so I can take some pictures. I can check if I have the right orchid, if it's uh, is the correctly named orchid. We will get to that in a minute because I have a wrong uh, labeled one. But uh, And then I'm checking if the orchid ke keeps on growing, if it keeps on uh, making roots. That's the most important if they're just uh, starting to adapt to a semi hydroponic setup. And if they do, like this one, I just keep enjoying the blooms. And then over here, this is also a first time bloom, and this is also fairly uh, new. Let me uh, show you the tag. Something, uh, everything nice. Showtime. <laughs> Rinko Brazzavola cross. Beautiful yellow blooms. And I have two, as you can see. They have quite a nice size to it. And this one is just, I'm keeping an eye on it. So far it looks, looks well, it's doing well. And this one also has the roots growing, as you can see, but not as much as the previous one. It also looks, seems to start growing this eye. So, so far it's doing well. And these little white things you guys are, is just dried up moss. It came in moss, so it's not a, a pest or bug or anything. 
before some people comment on it. <laughs> it's just uh, just mouse. So that is that over here. Uh, quickly check. Yeah, that's the first so far. And then we have this beautiful. This one is has a beautiful citric smell. A fell. It's a summer bloomer. While we're at the door, just a quick update. This is it. Beautiful fragrance. Fairly strong. I uh, have it uh, throughout the greenhouse. Then go over here because this is also nice. This is first time rebloom. I bought it in bloom, and I just I think I found the name for it. It's a beautiful name actually. Odontoglossum Odonto Odonto black tiger star, and it's almost black and white blooms. It's a very very dark red, but yeah, I found the name to be very suitable. As you can see, without a, the strong light behind it but yeah i'm pretty sure that's the name for this one and it's just about uh, starting opening up her flower spikes a spike a spike <laughs> um then this is also something i'm going back to uh, when they are just in a semi hydroponic and when you should let them bloom or not because this is one I may cut off. This is my Nelly Eiler Yellow. Maybe you remember it. But first of all, you can see this this bulb is still quite smaller than that one. This one looks a little bit dehydrated. And it's making a spike. And I do see, well, basically no roots on the edge of the pot, but I do see some in here. And the other eyes are just very, very slow growers. But this one is the slowest ever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just keeping my eye on it. And if I'm uh, not completely sure, I may cut off uh, almost all the bulbs and just, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the flowers and leave just one on there and let that bloom if I, uh, but I know this is one is the right one because I bought it in bloom. And if this starts to shrivel or something like that i'm going to cut off the whole flower spike but i think it will be okay but this one is really one to keep an eye on the buds i meant earlier i'm going to cut off uh almost all the buds just leave one or one or two let me uh, see if i can get this out because this is the one that is mislabeled um oops I'm sorry you guys <laughs> it's a bit crowdy up there but yeah first of all you can see here I did cut off the spike because I uh, yeah I could left only one bloom but I wanted to see if this was the correct one and I did decide to cut it off because basically the same story as with the Nelly but this one started to shrivel even a bit more this is not that big but it's not shriveling yet so I think it can contain these two blooms but that is more than enough and yeah, this one is, I bought it as the Odontonia George McMohan Fortuna. That should be a, a yellow with white one. Very beautiful blooms. Well, this is nothing near, <laughs> near that one. Not even close, I should say. But uh, I did get this one from Echo Genera and I emailed them. And it was no problem. So a, a replacement is uh, almost on the way. <laughs> I have a little extra order there, but it's uh, almost on the way. And I hope you can see it. Hybrida. That is the one, the name for this. So this is Ondontonia Hybrida. I need to change the name tag, but I wanted to show you uh, this for this video because it's a nice example. So that's why I like to let them bloom if I didn't buy them in bloom so I know that I have the right one otherwise it may take it not a year so we then are two years further and yeah starting to complain <laughs> sort of uh, uh, after two years that you have the wrong argument is a little bit silly I think but nonetheless Equigena was uh, very uh, very nice and uh, they uh, luckily had it still the uh, original uh, McMohan so I will get that one someday but nonetheless, this one is beautiful and I just can keep this one. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> so yeah, this beauty is also all, but this is the second time I had it uh, for the fir uh, first time blooming last year, but it's so beautiful. It's just starting to open up. It's a cross with the uh, Why Not, Cattleya Why Not. 
absolutely beautiful. So what I like to do, like I said, I just uh, like to check my new orchid if it's the right one. And then I'm going to take some pictures because I like to have some pictures in my notes on the computer. So I did it today. And then you guys, oh, I have, it's a little bit crowded over here. I will go back in a minute because I have the fan later on. It's a little bit noisy, but as you probably can see, we have spikes sticking out everywhere here. And long spikes here, we have long spikes here. So I thought I was taking care and taking my orchid off and lo and behold, I broke this spike off. And look at the size of it, it's so incredibly sad. It happens, it happens to all of us, uh, at least uh, all of us, I like to believe, but still. Oh, spring eclipse, then drop your spring eclipse. And believe it or not, this is the second spike, because last week I did break off one as well. I did uh, get stuck behind it with my uh, water, watering hose. And now I took another orchid, and this one was uh, leaning on this orchid, and it did get stuck, and it broke off fairly easily, because it's very heavy because of all the blooms and still some buds to open a lot of blooms so yeah so sad my spring eclipse uh, luckily oh there goes another bloom it's not my day today <laughs> to, to work with flower spikes luckily i don't have to cut off any uh, yet <laughs> as we saw today but anyhow i'm going to put it in a vase it's just too beautiful to throw it away and i'm trying not to <laughs> break off any more flowers yeah sometimes it happens Anyhow, it's beautiful, nonetheless. So that's, I'm going to put it to the side and lay it down here carefully. Just grab this one as well. Beautiful, right? The shape of these flowers and colors. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it's a kind of a bit shorter, sweeter video for this Wednesday, but I thought it would be nice just to uh, let you know how I watch my orchids and what to do, especially when they are just uh, adapted into semi hydroponic and basically still uh, in the progress of adapting. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, I hope that it, that's helpful just to decide if we, uh, if we st let them uh, take on or not. For example, if these leaves were to start to dry out or something, I would definitely take off the flower spikes. Spike, I should say. Anyhow, uh, thank you so much. And ex uh, also, thank you so much for my last video, my Miltonia update. That uh, was uh, watched pretty often and I had beautiful comments. So thank you so much. And uh, of course, uh, thank you for all your support on my channel. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do this Sunday, but we have some uh, some requests. I will get to the cell watering mounts, the update. I also want to do an update on the pH uh, project that I have going on. Uh, so there will be something uh, of interest, I, uh, I believe. For now, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you didn't already have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. And of course, I really, really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.